number 26. All right, time has expired. Mr. Becerra is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, gentlemen, thank you very much for your testimony. And uh, let me key off of something, Mr. Miller, you said. You said foolish mistakes were made. I think the president actually said it better. He said that the handling of those tax-exempt applications in that process at the IRS was outrageous and intolerable. No excuse. And as much as we know that the folks at IRS have a thankless job because they have to go and tell their fellow Americans that they may be audited or they have to do this work understaffed, uh, we have to maintain the confidence in the system because it's a voluntary system of payment of our taxes. Agreed. And so you are right, it was a foolish mistake, but the president's even more correct that it was outrageous. It was a foolish mistake, but the president's even more correct that it was outrageous and intoler intolerable. Now, let me also focus on something, Mr. George, you said. When you were asked, was there any finding or evidence of political motivation here, you said no. That's correct, sir. Okay. And so what we find is a situation where inexcusable activity took place because it erodes the confidence of the American people in a system where they participate voluntarily. And if there's a place in public service where you have to have the highest level of conduct and standards, it's at the IRS. And so, Mr. Miller, I, th I think it's unfortunate for those who are in positions of authority, but the buck has to stop somewhere, and I think that's exact exactly what we're saying. That should not diminish the good work that has been done by anyone within the IRS over the years.